It's in the game. It is a bantamweight matchup between Jessica Andrade and Juliana Pena. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, Bate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John, and she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andrade. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andrade got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her waist. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andrade. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's a white division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Dixon Pena! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 9 losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batista Andrade. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. So here she is, the Bantamweight contender, the Venezuelan Vixen, Juliana Pena. She has relocated her training camp from Washington State to Chicago and feels like she has made major strides in all realms of mixed martial arts. Grappling advantage here tonight, but you know Juliana's not afraid to strike. We shall see how this one unfolds. Punch over the top. Big knee land. And they separate. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Pena. Oh, really using the reach advantage to land the jab there, DC. So again, they will clinch here. Andrade has got the tie clinch now. Tie clinch for her here, we'll see what she can do with it. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You've got to control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook when you're trying to escape defense. Great timing on that double leg. Going for an arm bar now.
attack and armbar. Nicely done. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. And potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Andrade's pass attempt denied. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys would try to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Andrade's has got full mount now. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell she's going for the arm ball here. Saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. And you get caught with that punch. Another clinch position. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. Now she's got the more tie plum. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transit. We'll see if she can set up the arm bar now. position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. Yeah. Kenya's got her head going to the guillotine now. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, nice job, man. Nicely done. spot on the ground and you want to reverse it that's what you need to do master class in changing position unreal to see oh nice strike on the ground for her. oh and she gives up her back this is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside we could get a finish here in the not too distant future yes she's very dangerous from the top she's so good at controlling the hips She's so good at just being aware and taking advantage of any... She's got one of the best arm bars in the business going for it now. And attacking arm bar. Oh, man, that was slick. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Andrade. Kenya's back in half goal. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Andrade. I need you to 30 seconds to go in the round. Go 20 seconds left. 
Well, she did not miss a single grab. Now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Nice leg kick by in there, DC. She disguises it really well. She gets the right moment. She drives her shin and she her up the top. Well, she lands the punch there. You know, it's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another thing to take advantage. Nicely done by her there. Andrade is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Oh, and she gives up her back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom getting mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back to get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Andrade has got the full mount. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Effective strike there by Andrade. Judo toss is good. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure. Kenya's going for a choke. She's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top of one of the arms, so that when they're bridging and turning, the arm is just going up and down your shin, blocked by your ankle, blocked by your knee. That's how you keep them there, and you maintain the underhook on the other side. So you control one part with your knee, one part with your arm, and then you just use your hands to just punch and beat them up. All right, so the fighters go to this. It's a pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Jessica Batista and Drive. All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like...